Hey guys, RC here. We're back with a new Let's Play. So I finished off uh, one of my series, uh, RimWorld. I was looking for something else to play. This is one I haven't seen anybody else do, uh, at least not recently. Uh, this is a game called Music Wars Empire. It is a uh, music record company simulator. Uh, no video, just uh, all text-based. So might be a little boring, but it's a game that I got some enjoyment of several years ago. It's a, an independent uh, distributor uh, that designed it. Antoine Johnson, I think is his name. Uh, he originally released this game through Grey Dog Software. And then uh, a few years, a couple years ago, two or three years ago, he took it away uh, and then he uh, was working on it some more, released it on Steam. It's not a perfect game, but it's one of the better music simulators. And what I like about it is it, it allows you to uh, choose your band name, album name, uh, song names. Uh, so, you know, but it does not have the ability to change the artist name. There might be something in, in the uh, workshop. I haven't looked yet. Maybe I should have, but this is the main screen. After you register and log in, we're going to start a new game and we are going to be Raging Cajun. Uh, we're going to go with, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll go with default. Uh, YouTube save US dollars, uh, unrestricted releases, pre-populate charts. Uh, we're going to go with a new label. We're going to overwrite that because I, I chose a different label, but it, uh, yeah, it didn't work out. My, uh, my logo was much too big. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to choose any of these. We're going to cancel that. We'll just go with the default because I don't want to mess it up. And I'll show you why. All right, Raging Cajun Records. In the United States, uh, we are going to be a rock label, definitively. Uh, we are going to go on what they call the easy mode. Uh, $10 million goes very fast. CEO mode is the only mode which gives you some goals that you're supposed to try to get, and we have no shot. Um, the number one single, well, we're a brand new label with a C reputation with no, no bands. So that's not going to happen. So, you know, that part of the game, I think is a screw up on, on the developer's part. I wish it would be, uh, something a little different, but let's jump to my office. So the reason that I went with the default logo and I'm sure you can re you know, you can resize pictures, but you know, in fact, I'm going to move this. You know my logo right there. So when I put that in, it basically takes up this much of the, of the screen. And yes, I cannot make this screen any bigger. At least I have not figured out a way to do that. So sorry. Let's get our talent scouts to go out in the U.S. For some reason, going large, small gets me a better return, I have found. Any gender, it's going to cost us $100,000. So they are going to start that. We are in week one every time you advance. And we'll get through the different screens. But that's this is our office where we can, you know, look at our studio. Uh, this We don't have a studio, so that would be one that, something to build down the road. Uh, finances, uh, as we start off with $10 million, and we'll keep track of uh, outgo and income. Uh, our staff, which we do not have anybody yet. Uh, we are going to kind of do that on our own. Uh, artist tracker. We can look at the different charts, the size. This is our company. We're a local. Re uh, we'll advance to regional. Uh, and we're, you know, we're pretty much nobody knows who we are. <laughs> so let's go ahead and move two weeks into the future. We will be looking for our email to come in from our talent scout. And hopefully we can put a band together. Now, again, as a new label, you're not going to get Led Zeppelin, Guns N' Roses. You're not going to get these bands to sign with you. You know what I'm saying? 
Uh, let's go to the home page. Okay, we're still. Let's go to my office. Okay, we're still scouting for talent. Uh, so we're going to start off with, with some people that, you know, nobody knows who they are and we'll have to develop them. All right, so there is our talent scout coming back. And these are the people we have found. Okay, so I'm scrolling up and down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sort them by skill. And you'll notice, well, in this one, nobody has a second skill. So you could have a singer that can play bass guitar. Uh, but if, if you wanted, say you had a bass guitarist that was a singer, they would have to be a bass guitarist first. You couldn't hire them as a singer. So the reason I sorted out by this is I want to check out. Now singing, that gives us our top person. So we have a 29-year-old female, good morale, great vocals, can perform live well, Sex appeals okay. Controversy, which for rock music is important, uh, but can't write songs. Uh, so, but so let's look at Tiana Craig. Vocals, live, sex appeal, controversy, and songwriting. So a little bit older, but only a couple of years. Uh, and yeah, here you can see songwriting and producing. So I'm going to go with Craig as our singer. Oh, well, let's see. Hold on. We got, yeah, let's just kind of bounce through the rest of these. A, okay, there's a possibility. I like, I like really, I want one or two good songwriters. They have to be able to play live and their vocal, you know, popular instruments, that's going to be your guitar, your bass, your drums and, and rock. So if you're playing something else, jazz, classical instruments, uh, metal, maybe screaming, Rapping, of course, for hip hop or, or rap. But the ones for, for rock are controversy, sex appeal, um, and a uh, little bit of mainstream. And these will come into play a little bit later, so we'll look at that. Uh, let's see. We also have a couple other 28 and no. McKenna Nichols. No. Now, she can songwrite, but she can't sing very well kind of like let's let's go with Annika Beard because she can song write that's that's important to me now she is a backup singer I am assuming I can make her a she can be the primary singer all right next thing we're gonna look for is our guitar player so here's your popular instruments, live, that's how they play in concert, sex appeal, controversy. And so we'll browse through these guys. Sex appeal, live, controversy, songwriting, yeah. Okay, not very controversial, but she can play. She can songwrite, kind of like that. Got one more. Oh, song. There we go. Can't play his instrument, though. You know what I'm going to do? Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to sign two guitar players. We're going to go in the Judas Priest mode, and we are going to have twin guitars. All right, drummer. Songwriting, controversy, sex appeal, popular instruments. So he, he can do everything except for play. Songwriting, sex appeal, live. He can play decently. Oh, there we go. All right, so we've got a 21-year-old female drummer. And controversy. Darren Perez. He can play. They don't all have to be able to songwrite, but, you know, it it is nice. So, songwriting is satisfactory. C minus and A. I'm going to go with him just because he can play his instrument better. That's going to help the quality of the music. All right. So let's see, we've got singer, 
two, uh, two guitarists, a drummer, and a bass player. All right, so we'll advance that. And because we are going, let's go with Iron Maiden. I'm going to name these after bands that I like. They won't be the real, you know, of course you would say, well, Bruce Dickinson's not a female. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> but we go with what we've got. But we're going to go with the bands, and then we can name the albums and the songs and everything else. Um, so there's two types of deals, a standard deal and a 360 deal. So 360 deal, basically you have an advance, a high royalty, your options is how many albums they have to do for you and a signing fee. A standard deal, you have to give them an advance, ro lower royalties, but a, they'll, they'll want a signing fee and possibly creative control. So this puts more risk on the band, a little less reward to you, but less exposure as well. So, wow, okay. So we're gonna make them an offer. All right, and we're going to accept all. We're going to skip ahead, and then we want to go to our bands because they're there. Iron Maiden. So what we want to do. All right, we want to double click on that. No, we don't. thought we wanted to double click on that. Let's go to... Okay. No, our band. Oh, here we go. So here's the profile of our band. Overall, you can look at the individual members, songs, awards, popularity. Right now they're a C plus in ability. All right, so we wanna close that. I want to go to activities. So we are in, where are we? Let's close that. We're in week four of January. All right. So back to activities. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these guys into the practice studio. And when you do that, it tells you anything great out you can't do. So we're going to put them into the studio on starting Friday the 9th. Yes, and then we confirm that. Well, then we want to go back to, uh, let's see, we want to close that. We'll go back to activities. Okay, we were already here. Uh, we want to do, all right, we want to work on an album. So we want to get an album out as soon as possible. So we're going to write an album. We are going to, do we want to hire songwriters? I don't think so. All right, here's the five people. So songwriting, we're going to add. No. Yes. Yes. And yes. All right, so we've added four songwriters. We're going to close that. So there's our four bands. Now, you, this is where you could also hire outside songwriters. Uh, we will do artist choice, uh, and they can have, well, artist choice. Yeah, they, they can write their own songs. All right, we want uh, a producer. Now, again, we want to keep our overhead low. So what we want to find is somebody that's pretty good but pretty cheap. So 180, I'm just scrolling through here. Now this is per song. So if you do a 10 song album at 180,000 per song, it's $1.8 million. As I said, the $10 million can go very fast. I'm just looking for whoever the cheapest person is basically that has talent. So, 
bear with me 180 not really uh professionals okay there we go now they do rap 25,000 per song so initially it was individual artist right so this would be like having Drake or Dr. Dre come in and do your producing for you. you know who Drake is? Yeah, I know who Drake is. I'm probably one of his songs. I couldn't tell you any of his songs. God's plan. Because I really couldn't care. But all right, your professionals are your actual producers. Uh, so let's go through here again. Um, rap. And really what I'm looking for is somebody high controversy. Good production, pretty cheap. All right, there's alternative rock, 40,000. Art rock, no controversy. Ambient, I don't even know what the hell ambient is, but they can produce, they can do mainstream, creative, and controversy. Pretty cheap, so we're going to add and close. So we're going to have one producer. That'll actually help because you can see that saves us about, what, $160,000 a song uh, per song. So that's going to save us a lot of money. Uh, we're going to do artist choice. Uh, themes. This is where you could choose a theme. So remembering that controversy, sex appeal, these are the things that are really important to rock. So in fact if we go like look at, e uh, at evil okay now that shows you what's important for that brand controversy is 50 percent mainstream so what we want to do is we want to browse through here and find the things that are songwriting because we have good songwriters if we have that controversy sex appeal and live that's the things that we were most interested in. So mainstream and, and they're popular instruments too. So, you know, rock is all about the instruments. So instruments, so addiction. Now you don't have to choose a theme, I don't think. Let's see. I don't think you have to choose a theme. So we can just leave it open-ended. And recording studios. So this is your recording quality and how much it cost per song. So 20,000 for an E plus. I think this is the English house is 27,000. So we're going to select that and we're going to put them in after they finish practicing. Let's give them the weekend off and we will put them in working there. Uh, I want, I'm going to give the artist control over how, well, I want 14, I want 15 songs. That way I can cull out the ones I don't want. Uh, free range, laissez-faire, standard, rush, blitzkrieg. Free range basically allows them to go in and take their time. We may have some cost overruns. We're going in March 4th. We'll finalize that. Oh, you do have to choose a theme. Okay. Uh, so, cliches of rock. Popular instruments, production. We've got a good producer. We've got popular instruments. Uh, mainstream. Okay, and the okay, this is for our band. So mainstream is C plus. Yeah. Creativity is 10%. Creativity. Where's it at? Okay. Uh, so, no, let's keep looking. None. Okay, that's what you would do. So, yeah, you know what? We're going to go with none. And we're going to finalize that. All right, so if we now look at our calendar, they're going in on to the recording studio on the 4th. Should have made that the 5th, but that's okay. And they will be recording through July 10th. So what we're going to do in the meantime is we're going to come back and we're going to do some book media.
All right, I want them to get into the recording. Oh, they won't do anything in the recording studio, right? So let's go back. And February 5th. And we only have two places that we can go right now. Gossip Girls and Trend. Gossip Girls is a website, as is Trend. Both are pop-oriented. But you know the old adage in rock and roll. Get the girls to come out to the shows. The boys will follow. The boys buy the albums. And that's what makes you millions and millions of dollars. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yep, we're doing all right on time, I think. Yep. Uh, so we want to talk about our gen just general promotion. We're going to take out advertisement. We're going to do that. Confirm. And then we want to do these guys, if we can find a place to put them in. I cannot. So we'll finish recording. So let's do the latest album right there. All right. So then we'll go back. So we've got everything booked. We've set up practice to get them better. Now, the other thing you may have noticed. Um, no, I don't want to do that back. Uh, da, 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 book media. No. Uh, anyway, you may have. Oh, the morale right here. There are 100 percent. As you put more as you spend more time doing things, your morale drops. So you get worse and worse. So. You want to kind of keep your morale as high as possible. All right. So this, again, is going to be going through. June, mid, no, July. All right. So what we'll do is we'll come back at the end of recording and I will we will do the first album together. Uh, I'll show you how to edit the names and choose the album and everything else. So we'll do that together. So we'll do that next episode. So welcome Iron Maiden to the label. Leave a like, subscribe. That lets me know that you want to see a little more of this. And I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm going to skip a lot of the just button clicking stuff. So uh, even though we are in uh, January right now, it'll be July when we get back. You won't miss anything except for them in the studio writing and stuff. So we'll see you guys next episode when we have an album to, to put together. Take care. Bye.